Great, so this is question 2.2. It's called return kth to last. And for this algorithm, we want to implement the code to find the kth to last element in a singly linked list. And so if we want to find, say, k is equal to 2, we want to find the second last algorithm, or the second last node in our list. That would be number 4, because 5 is the first last, or it is the last node in our list. And then 4 is the second last. Say if we want the third last, it would be 3. The fourth last is 2. And then the fifth last is 1. So to do this, the simpler way to do it is first just have a pointer that just iterates through this list and finds the length of it. And so in this case, it would find out that the length is equal to 5. And then actually what you do is then you just iterate through this list one more time. And so you would iterate through this list one more time, but you do like the length minus k times. So in this case, say you iterate through this list, you find out the length is equal to 5. And so k is equal to 2. So if k was equal to 2, so then the length minus k times would be 3. So it equals 3. So you'd iterate through here three times. So you'd start here and you'd go 1, 2, 3, and then return this node. And that is, in fact, our second last node in our list. So that's kind of the easy way to do it. It's actually um, O of n time, where because you'd iterate two times where the length of the list is n. So it'd just be n plus n times, which is just O of n. But there's actually a better way to do this, and it's a little more complicated, but it allows you to just to iterate through the list just one time. And so to do this, you actually use two different pointers, and I'll call them P1 and P2. And they both start at pointing to the first node in our list, also called the head of our node. So I'll just kind of quickly show you what this will do. So we have P1. And then we have P2. So P1 is going to iterate until it is k times ahead of T2. So P1 increment until k ahead of P2. So what that's going to do is it starts here. Um, I'll just make our pointer this. So it starts here and P2 starts here. And it'll iterate or through our list k times, and in this case, our k is equal to 2. So p1 is going to iterate once, then iterate a second time, and now it is two you know, movements ahead of p2. And so at this point, they're going to iterate through the list together. So this will iterate once, and then this will iterate once. And it keeps going until p1 reaches the end of our list until it's null. So it iterates again, then P2 iterates again, and then this is going to iterate one more time, and then P2 will iterate one more time, and then now this checks, and okay, you know, it's reached the end of our list, it's now null, and so we return where P2 is, which is the right number. It's the second last node in our list. So why don't we go ahead and implement this algorithm? So for, we're going to use a for loop. So for i and z equal to 0, while well, i is less than k, which is um, you know, the kth to last node that we specified here. In this case, we've been using 2. And then we just increment by 1 each time. Now we want to check if p1 is equal to null and if it is we want to return null and that's because if we iterate through this list and p1 becomes null you know before we even have moved p2 because p2 is what like is going to be the kth to last node then you know if it if we want you know the if we have a list of just size 2 we set k equal to 3, 
then you know there is no third or last node in this case so this is going to iterate you know three times but at this point it's null so there's no way that you know p2 can find the kth last node here so that's what this check does so we just return null just to indicate that you know this doesn't exist this node does not exist and then otherwise we want to just um, set p1 equal to p1.next. Great, so after this, now p1 is k nodes ahead of p2. So with this, we're now going to iterate. Um, I'm going to do it while p1 does not equal null. So because p1 is the one that's ahead, we want to iterate until p1 is equal to null because then we know that, okay, our k is now found. So we are just simply doing p1 equals p1.next and p2 equals p2.next. Great, and we're just returning p2 at the end. So why don't we go ahead and run this. Great, so in this case, our kth to last node is four, and that's true, because k is equal to two. So I'll just quickly take a look at our time complexity. So we have a time complexity of O of n, because we're just iterating through our list just once. And then we just have a space complexity of O1 as well, because we're not really you know, using any extra data structures. We just have these two simple nodes that we're using. So the, the space complexity is O1. So I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks.